what is up guys so i wanted to actually talk about uh the current situation that things have been going on right now with the whole world i mean i'm not gonna well might as well just mention it but the whole uh coronavirus and uh, how we're all actually being put on quarantine is definitely an issue that affects everyone around the world so you know if you guys are dealing with uh, some difficulties definitely go and seek out support uh, there are uh, plenty of services actually available for you guys uh, actually right now uh, since my whole uni has actually switched on to online learning uh, they do actually offer up uh, certain services for certain students that might be actually dealing with this difficulty so uh, I'm sure there are other things around for the general public as well so if any of you guys uh, are definitely dealing with such problems then uh, please go seek some uh, help I mean there's definitely services that will uh, I guess ease or help you cope with the current situations uh, because you know being cooped up inside the home isn't something that we're used to but um, if we could actually make the most out of it then things could definitely become really fun to be honest uh, I mean at least in my current situation right now I've managed to you know while I can't actually go out anywhere I am able to spend more time uh, doing work and catching up on things it allows me to actually kind of focus at the same time I'm planning out a lot of new ideas for different videos uh, with that being said, I also have a bit more time on my hands to record videos, so hopefully uh, you guys will be expecting more content here uh, because, you know, some of you might have a bit of free time uh, given what might have happened uh, at certain jobs. But uh, yeah, it will definitely be an issue that uh, all of us will be dealing with, so don't feel like you're the only one suffering here don't feel like that you're the only one alone uh, all of us are here and uh, you know we could all support each other so hopefully uh, that will be the case for the coming weeks and i mean i've heard news already about them already testing out vaccinations for it well not vaccinations but testing out vaccines so hopefully everything is going to be resolved uh, pretty soon uh, but at least for now, we'll just try to make do with what we have. So yeah, that being said, uh, I just wanted to make this quick video here so that I could let you guys know that I will be planning out more videos. Uh, hopefully I can make more discussion videos. Uh, very briefly, I do want to talk about uh, the new... Is it format? Yeah, I guess you could say format. Um, the April format at least with uh, Synchros, Fusion and XCs coming back or not coming back but really just getting a buff here to be able to summon as many as you want. It is definitely going to be something uh, we will all be looking forward to but unfortunately with every card store being closed it is uh, going to be a shame uh, that we won't be able to test things out because it's all very exciting. I mean, this whole format, despite the fact that some people might have done some testing beforehand uh, in our current situation right now, this is the time for us to, well, the potential time that we could have actually tested out all of these new uh, format rules and different changes. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, as long as the card stores are closed, as long as we have uh, social distancing rules, we will definitely have to uh, just do what we can and one idea I have was just playing over Skype or any video chat really if you know anyone then feel free to do that otherwise I've actually uh, spent more of this time building a lot of my decks and uh, I guess imagining what the meta could be uh, people still put out deck profiles on their channels including myself and uh, you get to see a good grasp of how other people are playing their particular decks and it gives me a lot of time right now to pretty much focus on developing my deck in order to beat their deck. While I can't really test it, uh, I do actually get a good opportunity to spend more time developing on my deck. And uh, I think sometimes we all need that as players because obviously it's going to 
uh, make us into better players and it's more of a reflective thing and with this slight slowdown don't waste the opportunity I mean to be honest we could actually uh, become better players by uh, getting to know our decks a lot more by learning the rulings uh, searching up different things experimenting with different builds uh, just you doing your own test hands will definitely help now if you guys actually don't know uh, in the background here this particular video I'm showing you is actually uh, a video I recorded I think about two years ago uh, with my friend Ben here uh, opening up Spirit Warriors which at the time it was already a year old I think but uh, no it wasn't even a year old it was just a couple of months old but it was definitely one of those sets that were on clearance at a particular card shop uh, that we went to and uh, he was pretty much just uh, opening that up and I completely forgot about it. I just left it on my USB and uh, Yeah, I figured I just might as well include it as part of this particular video since I'm actually talking mostly on audio uh, But yeah, so hope you guys actually enjoyed that particular video However, one quick thing I want to do here is let me just divert you a little bit away from the video I want to show you a particular site uh, that I think will definitely be very useful. So this particular site here is, uh, let's see where it is here. So the site here is called uh, Deck Builders Toolkit. So what you could actually do with Deck Builders Toolkit is uh, you could essentially write down your different decks. Uh, so for example, uh, you could build a deck uh, in real life, of course, and then uh, by typing a number right in front of the box there, and then also following that your actual card name the whole deck builders toolkit will actually generate or record your whole deck down and by doing so you could actually perform test hands just with one click of the button and this definitely does help really amazingly because by doing this uh, you're able to do test hands without having to do the tedious task of reshuffling your deck you're, you're saving time you're saving a lot more time you also get to actually see what the next cards of your deck actually are and simply by clicking the button you're saving so much more time than actually going through the process of reshuffling your deck over and over and over again it's a huge time saver and uh, it also gives you the opportunity to just uh, I guess imagine your test hands and I think when you put your mind into imagining these different things it is going to be a bit more effective than you trying to react to the cards that you just uh, draw out and uh, you're just playing along whereas in this case you're kind of having to imagine how you would play things out but at the same time since you're imagining things it also makes it easier for you to backtrack and just start all over again uh, since the opening hand is always going to be there and uh, given you could see the rest of your deck uh, you know what the next card is so you could test for going both first and second it will definitely help out really well I uh, found this app to be really uh, time saving so definitely really nice yeah definitely give it a go uh, but yeah let's switch back to the video of uh, Ben actually opening up the box of spirit warriors and uh, let's also talk quickly about the uh, new anime, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s. Uh, is definitely going to be really interesting. I'm definitely going to give it a go and I'll see how it actually uh, pans out. And if things turn out well, then I will actually get into the actual format itself. Uh, because, you know, the Rush format is definitely a bit iffy at the moment. I mean, right now it hasn't been confirmed to, for TCGs, but... At this point, the way things are going, I wouldn't be surprised if it was going to be confirmed for TCGs in the near future. So for that reason, uh, you have to pretty much decide whether or not you want to invest into the brush format, because if you do, then you'll just continually be spending money uh, on the game. Whereas if you don't, you kind of do end up saving a bit of money, which is, uh, it's a plus side, but at the same time, it also means that you won't be as active in the game uh, because I feel like with the rush deals or the rush format, 
Konami isn't going to make the same mistake as they did in Speed Duels, and I'm pretty sure they'll spend more effort into promoting Rush format. So with that being said, the regular standard format that we currently play might be slowly, I wouldn't say phased out, but it definitely won't have as much uh, support or attention with it anymore. Uh, but yeah, definitely going to be very exciting to see how things go. I am excited for the anime and I'm excited to see how uh, different tournaments, different players uh, actually interact with the game itself. Uh, that's definitely going to be really a good way honestly to kind of reboot the series uh, without affecting the main standard format. Uh, this was kind of reminding me about uh, Vanguard where the situation was that when they did the reboot things didn't work out for me I just couldn't catch up and as you can see now I don't even make videos for Vanguard uh, simply because I just can't get all the new cards it's difficult and given that I'm more focused on Yu-Gi-Oh now and I've also been getting into Bakugan quite a bit as well uh, it is definitely beyond my budget now to continue on with Vanguard uh, I am still trying to get bits and pieces so that I could convert my decks to a more recent format and uh, recent suitability to play uh, but at this particular point in time it does seem like a very difficult task uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for today uh, hopefully this uh, video isn't too long but uh, if it is I mean I'm sure the opening hasn't finished yet so uh, yeah, I hope you guys actually enjoyed the rest of this uh, back box opening. Uh, I do think the set is definitely really fun because obviously I want to build up uh, the Magical Musketeers. Starfire and Casper uh, were both just recently reprinted in Dual Overload. So very excited to get the remaining cards I need and uh, finally complete my deck and actually play Magical Musketeers. Uh, and I also have a friend here who also did... Um, he built, uh, I think it was the Weathery deck uh, from that set as well, so definitely really cool. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to record any duels, uh, but you know, it's just the current situation we're in right now. Uh, I will try to make more videos, so I do hope you guys look forward to that. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.